Hey there everyone, it's Michael Dougal with eXp Realty. This is your reliable resource for real estate information in the greater Toronto area. Join me with this market update, grab your coffee, grab your breakfast, let's look at the Toronto real estate numbers. And if you'd like to be updated on the market, then don't forget to click subscribe and click the bell icon so that you get notified when there's new videos and let's jump right into it. This first chart here that I'm gonna share with you shows uh, overall how our market has performed so far this year. All the way from January up to September, we're looking at the number of sales, the active listings, the months of inventory, the average price, and our days on market. So first things first, let's start off with sales. Now typically this does increase during the month of September as it's the transition between like the quiet summer months and the busier fall. So in September we had 9,046 sales reported. It was an increase from August, although it didn't increase too significantly. If we go back to some of the previous months, we can see March there was 15,000 sales, April 13,000, and this could have happened of course because there aren't as many listings as there were before. For example now, we only have 9,191 active listings, but if we go back to March, we had uh, just over 10,000, and May we had uh, 12,253. So as you'd expect, there is of course a relationship between the number of sales and the active listings. So what seemed like happening was at the early portion of the year, there were active listings, and along with that, there were new listings that were coming on the market. Whereas now, it seems like there's not as many new listings and buyers don't have as many homes to choose from, but the market conditions are very tight in that if a new listing does come on the market, a buyer will go ahead and buy it very often with multiple offers. I'm looking at the month's inventory and this will give us a better idea as far as how the market is performing and if it's more advantageous for sellers or buyers. And we can see here in September, our month's inventory was 1.02. In the previous month, it was 0.95. So when the month's inventory increases, it means that the market is more favorable for buyers, which goes to tell us that although the number of sales is higher, that doesn't necessarily mean it's ideal to sell your home when you compare it to the month of August, which leads to our next number, which is the average price. And our average price is at its highest point it's ever been, $1 million and $130,000 for all sales reported on the MLS during the month of September 2020. The month prior it was $1,070,000 and the highest point prior to that was back in May it was $1,108,000. So we can clearly see here that it doesn't look like prices will ever drop uh, below a million dollars unless of course the market does have some sort of downturn. So this is the new normal people should be accustomed to. But looking at the months of inventory because of the fact that that's 1.02 meaning better than buyers, you can't assume that all property styles have increased in price. Maybe what's so during the month of September is that more luxury homes sold, or maybe homes that were higher than 1.13 million and less condos were being sold or less sales of properties that were in the lower price ranges, therefore bringing the average price up. And the next number we'll look at is our days on market, which is how long it takes for a property to sell from the time that it enters the market and enters the MLS. And in September, it was only 14 days. So two weeks is how long it was taking the average home to sell. Compare it to the month of August, it's a bit better for sellers in August it was 16 prior to that in July it was 15 and the lowest days on market we experienced throughout the year was during the months of March and April it was only 10 days on market and you can see here the average price was close to 1.1 there but as well as the days on market being low the months of inventory was very low which makes it safe to say that uh, March and April were probably the best time of the year to sell your home as far as uh, getting the right price selling for the shortest amount of time with the least amount of stress. Now, maybe because we've got a new normal with respect to the average price, you can maybe get a little bit more money, but it would possibly require you taking a bit more time to find that right buyer. And the next statistic we're gonna look at is our average price, specifically by property type. So we're looking at detached homes, semi-detached homes, townhomes, condo apartments, and we're comparing the values from September 2020 to September 2021. And looking at the detached homes first, we can see there was a 28.9% increase in this particular home style from September 2020 to September 2021. Our average price for detached homes now was $1,526,000. 12 months prior to that, it was $1,184,000. Absolutely unbelievable. Next, we've got semi-detached homes. They've as well uh, experienced quite a bit of appreciation at 20.8% increase. The average semi-detached home is selling at $1,114,000 and the average semi 
was selling in September 2020 for $922,000. Next, taking a look at townhomes, similar number, 21.5%. Our average price townhome is selling for $909,000. And condo apartments, they've only gone up by 11.6%. I say only because it seems low when being compared to detached, semi-detached, and townhomes. However, let's not forget that condo apartments, they really experienced the most depreciation during the whole pandemic because that's what's happening, but now things are looking positive for all the condo homeowners. And in this next chart here, we're taking a look at the five-year historical average price. So we're comparing the month of September 2021 to September 2020, September 2019, 2018, and 2017, because this will really give us a good idea of where the market was during that particular year, because September, as you know, is very different than the month of August. And we can see here, um, as shown in the earlier chart, in our average price, September 2021 was $1,136. The year prior, it was $960,000, and that is quite a significant jump when you're comparing it to 2019. We had our average price at $842,000. In September 2018, our average price was $796,000, and in 2017, the month of September, our average price was $774,000. And all of this data here hopefully allows you to be more comfortable investing in real estate as it's likely only going to go up long term. And if you found this video informative, then do consider subscribing. Um, if you're considering buying or selling, then call me, call me, call me. And if you're an ambitious real estate agent looking to connect for opportunity, then do contact me. I'll share with you my experience so far with this wonderful brokerage called eXp Realty. I will look forward to seeing you all next time.